A little rapid fire game. We're going to ask the questions. You quickly answer what comes to your mind first. We're heating it up. Look at that. Alrighty. Literal fire. First one, ideal date night. Ooh, ideal date night is probably uh, Postmates and Veep. Ooh. Stay, oh. Staying in. Okay. Nice. We don't, All right. We're not home that much. Favorite song from your childhood? Favorite song from my childhood, Let It Be by the Beatles. Is that uh, cool? Nice. I am That's so really yeah. happy that you answered so quickly. I don't think I could answer that. Yeah. Uh, worst I mean, oh. or like the first song I learned on guitar was Closing Time. Oh, nice. That, Closing so Time. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, let's, should we sing it? It's a very easy <laughs> song to learn. All right, worst fear. Worst fear. Uh, I, it's very obscure, but you know, like when you see big boats in the water, yeah. like a like a huge like anchor, a like a yeah like a yeah guard ship. My biggest fear is to be underwater and having to go underneath it. Oh, oh my not god, that is it's like, like yeah. a, the iceberg effect, and I don't know why that is, but I'm a huge. I love the water. I love everything about it. I love boats. But the idea of going underneath a boat like that terrifies me. That is terrifying. Yeah. That's it's a good very thing to be obscure, fair. but no, I, I see it. That's my biggest yeah. fear. Favorite song by your wife? Uh, that I, I I love the ones that I wrote. <laughs> uh, Good answer. Yeah. I like that. No, I love um I love the Bones a lot, and I um I love off this last what record that the one that we wrote together, uh, Great Ones is really cool. And just because it was special to write that one with her, and there's this new one off her record called Good Woman, that um, she wrote with Kathleen Edwards and uh, Ian Fitchick, who produced the Casey Musgraves record, but it's uh, just it's really a, an amazing like letter to your partner and that, that part that happens to be me in this one but that's the one that like if I get lonely or something I turn that one on and I'm like all right it's there's a theme good. here yeah. there's a theme yeah. the theme is that one's about yeah. you you wrote yeah. this one I see dream that's fine music nope. collaboration <laughs> oh um see I get asked this question all the time and this is a hard one because there's so many people that are doing amazing stuff not just in like country music but like pop music but like I love um the Lizzo record. Oh. I'm not nearly cool enough to be uh, on a collaboration with Lizzo, but <laughs> if I could get write a song that was cool enough for her to be on, I think that's who I would pick right now. It could happen. So Maybe who would be the first there. person to listen okay, to buy yeah, that everyone album? Everyone likes Lizzo. Yeah, no, but a huge <laughs> fan. I know here. that song's like top, like it's like number one on the Hot 100 right now, yeah. correct? And they, she got Minnesota Vikings. Quickly, there. creamy or happen. crunchy peanut butter? Oh, creamy. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, right. I liked you until that moment. All right. Whoa. I just, no, <laughs> Hard I'm turn. Kidding. It's a real all or nothing. I'm very passionate about crunchy peanut butter. Uh, Ryan, thank you so much for <laughs> stopping you. by. You guys can catch Ryan Hurst's upcoming EP when it releases late September.